What's going on YouTube? GSN right here. So in today's video, we have some great news in the jailbreak community. A brand new file manager has been released for iOS 15 to 15.1.1 and this one is much more stable apparently than files escaped. This video is brought to you by any unlock a software that allows you to unlock the screen passcode, bypass MDM on your device and even unlock the Apple ID or unlock screen time passcode. Definitely check the program out in the link below, there is a free trial available. So yesterday this developer here posted quote, free release, open source and work in progress. I'm releasing my iOS 15.0 to 15.1 and 15.1.1 file manager now, but currently only works on M1 iPad Pro 15.1 only, because hard coded offset. Don't forget this is work in progress. Hashtag iOS, hashtag iOS 15, hashtag jailbreak. And they posted this GitHub repo here with mini root file manager 15. That's the name of it. And this one apparently is made to compete with what BassVT released a month ago, which is basically files escape 15. Now a lot of people liked files escape 15 because you know, it's files from the jailbreak devices, but unfortunately files escape 15 is not exactly stable. For many people it didn't work or it crashed or it took a long time to open and so on. While according to the developer of this, the mini root file manager 15 wouldn't have this problem. They say that it's much more stable than that. So um, it says this is root file manager like files escaped and somebody asked if the iPad 8 which is 812 will be supported in the future and the developer replied that yes support for 812 and above. Which is indeed great. So iPhone XS, XS Max, XR, iPhone 11, 12, 13 will all be supported. And somebody asked does it crash? less than Falza or not at all. And the developer replied stable than Falza escaped. So hopefully when this will be completed it will definitely be better than Falza escaped. Now it's currently available here the work in progress which works on 15.0 to 15.1.1 but currently only on M1 iPad Pro but that's because of the offset. They will be able to add support in about a week. They confirmed it in here. Somebody asked about this and they said that it will take roughly a week to add more support and it will work on basically 15.1.1 1.1 all the way down to 15.0 because we don't have an exploit for 15.2 for now. So what this would allow? Well, it would allow what files I escaped allows browsing files, modifying files, and of course tweaks here and there in order to basically tweak your device and so on directly from Falsa. Some things can definitely be done. You can edit your game data, application data and so on because that one has user partition access. The files are available here. You can open it in uh, Xcode and have access to all the files of the project including the exploit. If you want the IPA you have to compile it yourself for now but I assume once it exits the work in progress stage you will be able to get an IPA here as well. That's basically going on. Apparently it's going to be much more stable than uh, Falsa Escape, so I'm looking forward to it. I will keep you updated once this gets released, but yeah, this will allow some degree of customization on your iOS 15 device. Thank you for watching, I'm Geosnow, till next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.